Hey everybody, it's your boy Corbin. Just a quick life update because I haven't uploaded anything in about 100,000 years. Here's my Buell XB12 SS. You can see I got the forks taken off. Got the chonker. This is a chonker. 8 piston caliper hanging off the front of the bike here. This actually acts on a single disc brake attached to one side of the wheel and it's pinned directly to the rim of the wheel so the brake torque doesn't go through the spokes. They can be lighter, your unsprung gets lighter. Um, I think your uh, yeah, your kind of dynamic mass the, from the gyroscopic, uh, well, what's the word? Oh yeah, angular momentum is kind of higher this way. I mean, it's got to be at least a little higher. But in the end, that's what they decided to go with, and I think it's a really neat system. If nothing else, it looks cool, and it certainly works well, I'll tell you that. I mean, for street use. This thing's actually a neat bike. If you guys don't know about Buells, I suggest you look them up, or at least these XD bikes. They have a lot of neat engineering on them. It's basically a Harley motor, you know, 45 degree V-twin, air-cooled, all the character in the world. I really enjoy the motor. Uh, fuel's in the frame, oil's in the swing arm. So I have the uh, forks out right now because the left one was leaking, blew a seal. They're old. They needed rebuilding anyway. Have them over at Race Tech, get some gold valves. Sick, bro. Took the shock off the back. You can see it's a direct-acting shock, not a linkage system. So you do lose some damper resolution that way. Uh, never going to get quite the level of ride and handling out of it that you would out of a linkage. But this is not a racing bike. It is just a fun, sporty, sport bike. Yeah. Cat was out here somewhere a minute ago. Also, got the backpack attached to the back. This is a game changer. Absolute game changer. And then if we come around to the front of the house... None of those bicycles are mine, by the way. I do have a bicycle, but I keep it in my room because I only have one. Yep. We see thing number two I've been involved with, which is my 07 uh, Cadillac CTS-V. Picked this up a well, about a month ago. Been working on it. Put the stock manifolds back on because long tube headers are glorious sounding. However, they do not pass smog and the passengers don't like them when I lift, and I do lift with this thing, oh yeah. It's got these Team Dynamic wheels on it, super sexy. It has a little bit too much rear tire on it, so you have this excessive bulgy sidewall. Lovely, really lovely for handling. Uh, yeah, got that, oh, lift, stealth, stealth lift. But um, yeah, thing's got about 85K on it, really enjoying it. It's got a few, other mods, I have the KW V3s, this is not stock ride height, and the damping on these is, oh, so minty. Really, really rides nice, handles well, uh, has the poly diff mounts, poly engine mounts, all the good stuff you want on one of these. We'll take a quick look inside. Ooh, yeah, look at that granola bar wrapper, oh, your boy keeps it classy. Plus water bottle, of course. Yeah, these things are, uh, you know, pretty luxurious inside. Lots of leather, lots of fanciness, lots of Cadillac V gauge thing. It's got an LS2 in it, making 400 horses, rear wheel drive, T56. Bro, it's, yo, it's basically a four-door Corvette, though. It's basically a four-door Corvette. Uh, it's really thirsty, though, and I spent a lot of money buying it, uh, as a percentage of my net worth anyway. So I think I'm going to sell it, which is sad. But until then, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to drive some lift. Going to feel the rumbly bumblies. What am I looking for? Yeah, you guys are wanting a recycling video? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Pretty sick. And, of course, this thing has the famous CDS-V brakes upgrade for every LS-powered whatever there's ever been, except for the Corvettes, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and there's another bike I've been working on, Triumph Speed 4. Husky is my roommate's. SV is my roommate's. I just sold an XR650R. Which was really cool, but I wasn't riding it that much. Now, this, my roommate and I split. We got to fix it up and just see what we're going to do. And what we're going to do is sell it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have Cali plates, so I can't ride it. But it's kind of a cool bike. A naked four-cylinder sport. It's actually a naked version of Triumph TT600. A bike I don't think I've ever seen for sale in my entire life. Maybe one. One time. Actually, handles amazing and pretty cool to work on. It has an OBD2 port, of all things. Anyway, that is the update. Uh, if you guys want to see more bike content, want me to turn into a really cool moto vlogger, uh, just, you know, like, subscribe, rate, comment. Um, and by the way, that V right there, it's 
it's going to be on another YouTube channel coming up pretty soon. So don't want to be giving too much away about that. But until then, YouTubers, uh, stay cool, stay spicy, and, uh, you know, pet a cat. Peace.